Hi, friends. So, after doing this with Billy Bragg, I decided to deal with There Might Be Giants. There Might Be Giants was an influence of the same time period, actually. I I was into There Might Be Giants of their first album, and in fact, before that, their EP. I, I was introduced to it by a friend, and I still have somewhere on album, on vinyl, that uh, Don't Let's Start. Don't, don't let's start with uh, high word replacements on the other side. Anyway, um, and I am familiar with many of their albums. Very familiar with many of their albums. They're a huge influence on me, frankly. But it's not so much just that they're... It's not, it's not exactly that they're a huge influence. It's that this is an ENTP band. And there are similarities between our styles of creation because... We're both ENT, we're all ENTPs, you know. I think both the guys in that band are ENTPs. I met someone at the dog show. She was holding my left arm, but everyone was acting normal, so I tried to look nonchalant. We both said, I really love you. The Shriners loaned us cars. We raced up and down the sidewalk 20,000 million times. Why, why did they send her over anyone else? How should I react? These things happen to other people. They don't happen at all, in fact. When you're following an angel, doesn't mean you have to throw your body off a building. When it, <laughs> when it's not worrying of it, you're an angel calling you the nicest thing. I mean, there might be giants. It, it, it's so good. It, it's They're so good. And a lot of people don't really like them because they think they're goofy or whatever. I have a little bit of goofy quality to me too, but wow. And it's so prolific. So many songs. This is one of my favorites. I just started clicking some random ones that I like a lot, you know. We're in a road movie to Berlin. Can't drive out the way we drove in. So sneak out this glass of bourbon and we'll go. We were once so close to heaven Peter came out and gave us medals Declaring us the nicest of the damned Peter Nanny won't find the lost It'll sweep up our skeleton bones So take the wheel and I will take the pedals It's great. Brilliant. I mean, just so good. This one's hard to play. But I always loved this song. I love, I love listening to this song. I haven't, I haven't listened to them in a long time, but uh, quite a while anyway. I, this is hard to play. I remember I used to play this a long time ago. Down, down, down you go. No way to stop. As you fall, hear me call. No, 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 no. Listen to this warning and consider these simple words of advice. Stop, stop, stop. Fog in the view, cupping face to the window in darkness. You make out a spiraling shape. Putting all reason aside, you'll exchange what you've got for the thing that's hypnotic and strange. The spiraling, 
Spiraling shape will make you go insane. Great song. Great song and too hard to play. And this is this is like one of their their like slow ballad songs. I tend to like their slower ballad songs a lot. Like when they're such a good songwriter. Whoever writes these, I mean, they both write them, but they I think they both are responsible for different songs. So, but this is a great one. And there's a girl with a crown and a scepter who's on WLSD. And she says that the scene isn't what it's been And she's thinking of going home And it's old and it's totally over now And it's old and it's over, it's over now And it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over See myself At the end of the tour When the road disappears if there's any more people around when the tour runs aground And if you're still around, then we'll meet at the end of the tour The engagements are booked to the end of the world So we'll meet at the end of the tour Never apart since the day we met Brown in a state 99 Brilliant, brilliant, genius, brilliant Someday mother will die and I'll get the money Mom leans down and says my sentiments exactly You son of a bitch, I palindrome I, I, I palindrome, I, I palindrome, I, I palindrome I, and I am a snakehead eating the head on the opposite side I palindroma. Oh man, I palindroma. That's um, man o nam. Son, I am able. She said, though you scare. Is this? Son, I am able. She said, though you scare me. Watch, I said. Beloved, I said, watch me scare you. Though she said, able am I said it. Okay, like, that songwriting there is just, the bridge is astonishing. The way, the, this whole song is astonishing. The way it goes from the chorus, the bridge, and then leads back into the verse is just, it's, it just it knocks you over with its brilliance. It makes me jealous, frankly. I'm jealous. I feel jealous. I feel I feel inadequate. Like I'm 48 years old, probably around the same age. Those guys are a little older than me, maybe 10 years. But Jesus Christ, they got a fucking songbook of good songs, and I've been working hard at it for a long time. And I don't have nearly as many good songs as they might be jazz says. I have some, but it took me a lot longer. I don't know. I guess it's because I, I wasn't a professional musician, probably. This one, I don't want to play the song, but it's an interesting song. I like the lyrics, too. It's about James K. Polk um, and his presidency. Uh, experimental film. This is such a good song. I... I'm having trouble remembering the melody of this first part here, but, um... quite get the melody. I've almost got it, but I, I, anyway, it's a good song, too. I'm not gonna 
struggle with it. This is one of those old songs. They're older songs, 1986, okay? I love their, their crazy, weird old songs like this that are a little bit, I mean, they're not as good. He's, he's developed, they've, they've developed the songwriters dramatically since 1986. But even the 1986 songs are, are great and fun. And everything right, just like in a long, long trailer. All the dishes got broken and the car kept driving and nobody would stop to save her. And now the song is over now. And now the song is over now. And now the song is over now. The song is over now. It's another hard one to sing and play. I don't quite have the melody now. They have so many songs that... Um, I, even though I know their, their catalog well... In terms of like in my head, like I'm just familiar with their music, you know. I'm your only friend, I'm not your only friend, but I'm a little glowing friend, but really I'm not actually your friend, but I am. Look at Harry in the yellow by the light switch, who watches over you? Make a little birdhouse in your soul. So let's put you find a point on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. I have a secret to tell from my electrical well. It's a simple message and I'm leaving out the whistles and bells. So the room must listen to me. Filibuster vigilantly. My name is Blue Canary. One note spelled L-I-T-E. My story's infinite. Like a Longines symphony. Doesn't rest. Blue Canary in the elephant light switch. Who watches over you? Make a little birdhouse in your soul. Soul that's put you find a point on it. Yeah, the thing that won't... The, trouble with them my giants is it can be difficult to play their songs because they they've got a shit ton of chords and everything in them but this is kind of how i learned to play the guitar in some ways is i used to play out of comp books all the time i used to play song, like covers all the time and learning how to do all these chord changes helped me to um learn how to play the guitar and how to write songs you know although i did, wasn't really thought of it from that perspective So, um, perpendicular to the name of the town in the desktop glow. We still haven't walked in the glow of each other's majestic presence. Listen, and I hear my words are the ones you would think I would say if there was a me for you. When I was driving once, I saw this painted on a bridge. I don't want the world. I just want your half. They don't need me here, and I know you're there. Where the world goes by like a humid air. And it sticks like a broken record. Everything sticks like a broken record. Everything sticks until it goes away. And the truth is we don't know anything. This is a um, one of the more rhythmically interesting songs I can think of. Like the chorus where it goes, you know. And I ing and I are getting old. And I ing and I are getting old and we still haven't walked in the glow of each other's majestic presence. It's a really weird And I ing and I are getting old and we still haven't walked in the glow of each other's majestic presence. It's a weird rhythm, you know. Um this one, I've been leaving on my things. <laughs> I've been leaving on my thing. 
in the morning when the morning bird sings there's still dinner on my dinner it's so hard though that's the thing so hard men leaving on my things so in the morning when the morning bird sings there's still dinner on my dinner jacket till the dinner bell rings <laughs> that's forget it just don't even bother trying to play that song it's ridiculous there's no point they've got uh, I don't know if you don't like they might be giants you're not from, I can't imagine anybody, if you're totally unfamiliar with them or something there is the deepest catalog of really good songs of any artist I can think of. Now, that doesn't mean they're the best songwriter ever or anything. I'm just saying they've got the deepest catalog of good, well-written songs ever, as far as I can tell. Look at this. There's 700 songs in this tab thing for TWFP. 700. And... You know, I might, I have probably five or six hundred songs, but um, most of them are, you know, most of them just don't, don't make the cut, really. I don't know. It's hard for me to judge that. I hate judging myself against other people's music. It's, it's a bad thing to do. It's, it's totally a bad thing to do is what it boils down to. Because even if, the comparisons can be made reasonably, you know, like, like there's a reason for it. Like, you know, a comparison between me and they might be giants. There's a reason for it. It's like, okay, that's, that's a reasonable comparison to make because we we're both, we're all into peace, but then so our music has shared some similarities and stuff. But, uh, But yeah, it's still a bad idea to compare yourself in art to other people. Compare yourself only against your own shit. Um, and you'll be happier in general. But, you know, I mean, regardless, I'm just... I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of the Mappy Giants. And Delilah, when she was in the womb um, of her mother, obviously, <laughs> I don't know what other womb you'd be in but regardless the point is when she was in the womb we went to the they might be giants concert so she was interested in pre-birth she kind of was you know moving around a bit in there it was a little loud for her but we stood in the back so it wouldn't be too super loud for her and it can't be i mean it's got to be quieter it, it's just i'll be a lot quieter when you got a, a stomach or like you know a, a belly and some stuff between you and the sound, right? Because when you're a baby in the womb, there's like there's like juice around you or something, and then you're like in a bag or something, and so you've got that bag of juice and then your mom's stomach between you and the sound, so it's probably fine. Stock of wheat's a good song. Um, somebody keeps moving my chair. What a great title. <laughs> Shoehorn with teeth. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I got tonight. You belong to me. I guess they must have covered that song too. I had no idea they might have covered that song. I've I've been covering that song for years. Um, they must cover it too. It just shows you, right? Birds of a feather. Okay, well, that's enough for this. Rhythm section one ad. Like, the lyrics for this. In a world we call our home, there's lots of room to roam. Plenty of time to turn mistakes into rhyme. There's a place for those who love their poetry. It's a sign, it's just across from the sign that says, prose only. So if you like a band with a chick singer, say your cup of tea is wall trombones. If you dig Menudo or MTC, we salute you the way we know how. For everyone with dollar signs in their eyes, there must be hundreds who look at you as if you're some kind of rhythm section one ad. No others need apply to the rhythm section one ad. That's a uh, this is an old old one, right? Like these these old ones, he's 
they're less sophisticated. Uh, in they're less nuanced in their songwriting in general. But I still get a kick out of them. Um, <laughs> what's the, 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 yeah. all right? That's enough for this video. I can't even begin to scratch the surface of the TMVG bit uh, catalog and do it justice in any sense in terms of talking about my relationship with it and my appreciation of it because I not only listened to the Mike Giants for a long time, but they were regular staples in my book of of covers that I'd play. And so, I mean, I, ha I have, I used to have a bunch of, I, when I worked at an old job in for the county and I had a uh, special ed class that was, you know, they were profoundly retarded, so there wasn't really anything you could do with them except sort of entertain them a little bit if, or just play the guitar, basically. <laughs> I brought all these fake books in. I had these binders full of papers with, like, songs and all the tab on them and shit. And the comps, you know. And, uh... I played every day all for hours you know <laughs> and so i learned a lot of songs back then but i never really memorized them some of my favorite songs to play were um from the fake books from the old jazz books were like uh, misty and um delightful i don't know if you're familiar with that song it goes uh it's by, it's by like cole porter or, or boots mcgillicuddy or one of those old guys like that you know and it goes Oh, please be sweet, my chickadee, cause even though you're no longer free, you're delightful, you're delicious, you're delightfully. I changed the words because I included Delilah in it because uh, that's my daughter, and so I'd say, like, you know, even though you're no longer three, because she was like four or five years old back when I was playing that. Anyway. That was a great one. I loved playing Rainbow Connection. You know, I just, I'm really attracted to good songs that, and you can tell how good a song is, not just, not a track, but a song, really by how well it plays as comps and voice. Shit that doesn't play well as comps and voice probably isn't a very well-written song. It may pull its shit off, um as a track beautifully it may be absolutely genius track but there's a distinction for sure between recordings and songs songs being the element of the thing that can be conveyed representationally with comps and words like that and presumably with melody lines and notes if if uh if it were the olden days and i had to suffer through that misery like Nowadays, you want to play a song, you know, well, you just learn, you just see the chords, you just comp it, and, and you sing the melody, because I already know the melody, because I'm very familiar with the song. But in the olden days, like, if you, back before recordings and shit, you'd get sheet music, and they'd have to discover what a song sounded like by playing it. <laughs> that sounds like torture to me, frankly, but anyway, uh, that's it. I hope this one wasn't too boring.